Hey, you want to see what the big players are doing in the market? Check this out. Bang. How cool is that? Let's look at the sales. Bang. This is super, super cool. We're going to talk about this, the large trades tracker in this video. Again, it's another extremely useful tool from Tensor Charts that I want to get into, but I want to talk about it in a way you're probably not thinking of using it. So I think you're going to find this really useful if you're into crypto trading. Let's not delay this video anymore. Let's roll intro and get into it. Okay, so like I said, we have this large trades tracker over here. All I need to do is switch it on and hit buys or sells. What do I wanna see? I wanna see large buyers. And I can just calibrate this to show me anything with like over 3.48 Bitcoin or anything over say 100 Bitcoin. So you can see how you can filter this based on the size that's being traded. Now this is very, very useful because it saves you going through the tape and reading the tape in a way that is kind of difficult, takes a long time to really learn how to do intuitively, but this just sticks it on the chart for you. Now, I wanna talk about this in a way that you're probably not thinking about using it. This is how I like to look at this tool. I'm gonna to turn the opacity up here on the heat maps area. So if you don't know how to go there, if you didn't see that video, just click heat maps, turn the opacity up. I'm gonna leave the candlesticks on uh, and colored in because I'm interested in where there's contradictions. I wanna look for a lot of volume being traded in terms of the delta, whether it's very red or very green. And I wanna look at the large trades tracker and the position of that and compare that to what happened and then what happened to price afterwards. And the way that I wanna use this is really to also help identify, are we still going to stay in the established trend? whether that's a ranging market, whether that's an established uptrend or an established downtrend, I wanna use this tool to tell me beyond reasonable doubt whether we're gonna continue in this trend or not. Now, why is that useful information? Well, it's pretty straightforward. If you're doing order flow or order book trading, you wanna know what kind of trend you're in and whether that's likely to continue. If you're wondering how the guys get in at the bottom and they sell at the top and then they get in at the bottom again and they sell at the top, yet they know when not to get in at the bottom, they're gonna be looking at the market in this way. They're gonna be looking for the contradictions where a lot of volume's being traded, but price isn't really behaving in the way you'd expect it to. And that's how I wanna look at it for this ranging market that we're in right now for Bitcoin. So what am I saying? So I wanna turn this on and I wanna look at the contradictions. So you see a lot of volume got traded over here it actually didn't push price up. It got traded here, then the price kind of lingered here. So this is telling me there's a fight between the bulls and the bears going on. We're gonna stay in this range. There's gonna be this range trading. Now I can trade based on that information. I know beyond reasonable doubt that the big behavior, like if there's a lot of Bitcoin being traded, and I can put a few more bubbles on here, um, but I want less noise. I just wanna see what is significant. It just confirms for me that, hey, we've had a lot of buying going on, but price still hasn't moved. Or, hey, you know, because we're in a ranging market, you'll see the same on the sell side. Hey, we've had a lot of selling going on, but price really didn't move uh, much further down. And same here, look here, a lot of selling going on. There was a lot of volume dumped here. Price didn't really go down much more. Like it went, it actually went up. So this confirms for me that, hey, we're still in this ranging this range trading market and you can trade based on that information for example when i look at a price chart like this my mind immediately goes to scalping you know i'm thinking about scalping i'm thinking about channel trading etc like your approach to trading should change depending on what type of market you're in here's something i know for sure and by the way like here's an idea i'm thinking about testing out crypto bots and reporting back to you guys here on YouTube what my actual financial results are from using those bots. I'm not a big believer in bots, if I'm honest. I am if, if it's semi-automated. So if you are like trading the uptrend, you wanna use a bot that's very good at trading uptrend. If you wanna trade ranging, you wanna use a bot that's good ranging and the same with downtrend as well. You wanna use a bot that's good at that. But to have a bot fully automated that knows what kind of market you're in to design that is actually extremely difficult. And I don't really think there's one out there. If I'm really honest, you, you might know of one and believe in one and you're getting results, in which case share, and I'm happy to test it out. But I don't really know of one. I think it has to be kind of semi-managed and semi-automated. 
And so why I'm interested in this is because it tells me what market I'm in. I can make money using logic just knowing the behavior of the market that I'm entering into or I'm established in right now. For example, you knew how to make money in crypto in December because the price trend was going in a direction. And when price is trending up, you know if the price goes down, buy more because it's going to go up. You know you're in that established trend. So here it's the same thing. You're looking for the established trend so you know how to adapt your trading style. One trading style doesn't work in all markets. It just doesn't. You need to adapt your trading style depending on the context and the market that you're in. And this large trades track is a really cool way for me to identify, hey, where is their big size being dumped or big size being bought where I can say, hey, actually there's a contradiction happening here. There's a lot that's just been dumped over there and price isn't really moving. We're in this consolidation and you can trade based on that information, whether you're spread betting it, whether you're doing options trading, even whether you're doing binary options, which I don't, I really don't recommend because the odds are so stacked against you just on the price you pay. But you know, however you're trading it, whether you're scalping it, whether you're looking to take pips off the order book, however you're looking to do it, just knowing what kind of trend you're in. I hope you found this really useful and that you got more out of this video than just the large trades tracker that you understand that, but now you also understand how to think about the ranging uptrend, downtrend, established trend, etc. how to think about the context of the market when you're trading. I hope you found this useful. If you did, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. Put in your comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd like me to cover next. But I just love this. I love the tool. I love the transparency. I love the visibility. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video.